Fuck down, you are now canceled. Cancel the house. Go cry and go pout. You do it for clout. Professional clown. I'll give you the crown. Bitch, you're a clown. Sit the fuck down. Here is the receipt. Show me. So, wait, is Tara saying this? No, 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 no. Don't, don't spin it. Show the receipt. That's all you gotta do. You claimed it? I mean, now she. Outraged out loud when all that was going on. I don't want that to be your defensive sword now. Uh, I, I Lord, you're not on the circus, bitch. You're, you're not, I don't have to be on the circus. You are the circus, clown. Star Supernova. I'm hot like Arizona. Your boyfriend calls me Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, listen. I live this food. I'm gonna get eighty and yeah, I'm gonna get my lord. Put her in the house. But he's going to be after one messed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know that lady up in Charlotte. Because how did she know? How did she know that I have a bucket? They had this. How did she know she was looking in my window talking and I'm a Yeah Yeah I know she's because and I don't like Trying to get, I ain't gonna believe. You know what I got in the mail today, y'all? Some other fucker, an apple. They sent me an apple. Oh no, I, I don't. Yeah, I know it was at Charlotte, North. Oh, it was her damn deck, Philadelphia. I've had. I don't really, but I guess I'm. Apple. Some motherfuckers. I contacted today a lawyer who's also a judge. Got my in the can. I'm going. Yeah, Alcatraz. Gotta go. You gotta go to jail time. Oh, so, 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 so. I wasn't going to let that play for next. Uh, yeah, I guess they uh, said the sound's messing up. Boo, what do you mean bomber. the sound's messing up? That's what they kept typing in the side chat, that the sound is going in and out. Who's the, Who said that? A couple of people. I, think I don't I saw know who them the damn bridge. trolls need to quit coming in here and wearing us up. Block them. If they, if they <laughs> say it. 
if they say it again to my side chat again, just block their asses. We're not playing games over here. Just block them, okay? Yeah, well, send your asses straight to Alcatraz. That's right. Pick it in the side <laughs> chat. These sons of bitches over here jealous of our life. Fuck you. All right. Damn, why are you so mean today? I'm not. You're oh. just being sensitive, Papa Smurf. What are you talking about? I ain't sensitive. Let's, uh, look, just calm down over there. Okay, so, uh... uh What's we, up, everybody? We got How's a, it going? I heard a Sammy, a Sammy B. I watched some clips. Uh -huh. I was editing some video uh, or some streams uh, yesterday, and I heard clips several times, somebody saying Sammy B wasn't nothing but a shit-talking and a uh, troublemaker. Who said that? Rich Life. In oh, those... Lord. He... <laughs> I think we have some clip of him saying, calling her a bitch and stuff. What's up, everybody? Yeah, I, How's I, it going? I, I, I edited those out. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, what are you talking what's... about? Take a deep breath, stitches baloney. I hear you, Sammy. Say, maybe he was telling the truth. I don't know. Um... <laughs> He does seem to hate you, Sammy. What's up, Taylor, Steve, Trisha, a, Mr. A Mr. Pickles. Pickles? Did you see What's wrestling up, last night? Did you see wrestling last night? No, I went to bed. So they so made Mary June, Cindy they Lou. made Facey. You know who Facey is? Of course. So the, uh, they made Facey a wrestling character. All and, right, uh, that's what's then, up. And Facey and Punky are tag teams. If I was uh, Facey, I'd probably find a. Uh, um, new tag team partner because yeah. what happens is is Facey goes in there and beats him down and then uh, she tags Punky and then Punky comes in there and gets her tail kicked until she can get back over there to tag Facey and then when they <laughs> double team Facey Punky just stands there and watches so I mean I don't know how that's going to work. I think out. they should do a co-ed tag team, and they should put me and you up against Lisa and Rich Life. Oh, the circus against the freak show. The so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I think. That's my suggestion to the suggestion box. You didn't What's say. Up, Anne Marie, did you Punky? say? It? I see all you guys down there. Okay, my date line. How are you, honey? Steve Billings, Heaven Sent, Trisha G, Elbows, Travels, Watch, Facey, Bogey's Mama, okay. Computer the Chick in the house. What's up, G-Mangos? G-Mangos, is that the real G-Mangos or the fake G-Mangos? I don't yo, know. Yo, What's yo, up, yo. Jin Jin? G-Mangos sent me them. Uh, What's up, baby? Yoda? He be getting up early in the morning and streaming. He sent me a damn. A damn um, uh, stream uh, invite at damn four thirty in the damn morning. Yeah, I saw he went live again like early. What's up, redneck? <clears throat> I ha I hadn't even been over to get over there and catch the stream yet. Was there any drama going on over there? Uh, where I don't know. I didn't see it. I was. Uh he was done streaming by the time I got up. He only streamed like... Oh, I, must have, I was about to say, you usually up by five. It must have not have been a very long stream. I mean, he streamed probably about... I don't know. Probably about 6.30 or so, maybe. I don't know. What's up, Misty, Karen? What's up, Dick the Balls? Okay. <laughs> okay. You um, what? Dick the Balls. Elbow is no longer a lulz clown. Okay. <clears throat> He, he done yeah, moved up. Well, yeah, people do, and that's what he's over there doing with CJ Bama. So real quick, uh, we'll just address the my stupid embarrassment of the week this week over on Mark Terry's with Lisa's. Oh, Lord. But uh, <clears throat> I hope now that after all of that, that we could just go our separate ways and just leave each other just completely alone. We'll see if that happens. What's up, Spoogie? Let's see here. Oh, did you see what was going on in New York? They're they're rioting over that. Uh... That's good. That's good. I hope they do it everywhere. Oh, Lord have mercy. You think, well, I, you're like, bring it over here, right? 
Oh, oh real, real quick. You know why? So, you know why they're rioting? You know, you know why they're rioting yeah, in uh, in in those places? You know why? Well, I, because I they know opinion. that they know that the citizens of them cities are not armed. If you don't see them coming to armed cities where they have armed citizens doing that, do you? Wait, we had that. Yeah, we had that issue. No, uh, Atlanta's just Atlanta. as Atlanta's just as bad as New York. Don't even think about it. You don't think we have? No. Oh, I know plenty not, of folks no, that have. No, not unless they're in a gang and they, you know, unless they can run down the road shooting sideways, you ain't gonna see no, them. No, I know plenty of people they're in probably my life helping that have them. plenty of guns. I understand that, but you don't, you don't, nothing, never mind. You don't understand that the, the, these, <laughs> these cities, you get to get out of these cities. These big cities are no good. Yeah. Well, I don't live there anymore, so. You're good. See? Yeah, I'm good. So it's all gravy for me, but, um, so I saw, um, Susan Mundy, uh, oh, Lord was over have in, mercy. hold up a second. You just hold on a second. So over on Dateline's um, video she posted up, I saw Susan Mundy under my other account. And uh, so this chick over here that eats crayons uh, and is slow as Methuselah is over here calling me out saying she knows we're fucking around with Lisa shit. And just like the week prior or two weeks prior to that, she's over in Dateline's comments talking about how mean Lisa is and what Lisa's doing to her. Now she's over there saying everybody's unwrenching people, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? You know Do you she's want a, a link? You know she's a few slices of bread short of a loaf, don't you? You know that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, she's, right, right, right. Uh, she's a... She's a She's something. Girlfriend, you what are the fuck are you talking about? It, come over here and take a link if you want to talk about it. Other than that, shh. So Castlin says that Susan Lady gets around to all kinds of communities. Where well, does she even new, come from? I never seen her before. I don't know. I think Lisa picked all those new people up over there from Corey's and then she's she don't always, even barely know them. And Susan she, Monday's always going after Steve Billings. I think she's following Steve. She's a stalk Steve stalker. She wants Steve's uh, Minnesota, Minnesota. He's in Minnesota, right? Or is he in Massachusetts? I, I have no he idea where Steve's he's at. He wants Steve's Minnesota meat sausage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lisa's just a proxy. What's up, Sean the Brit? Couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. Well, I don't know this bitch. And she ain't, she just needs to be quiet over there. And she has me blocked. See, let me tell you guys something. <clears throat> If you block me, okay, cool. I won't even keep on bothering you at all. Blocked means please leave me alone, right? What's up, MJ and Carlos? But if you block me and then continue to talk shit, you are special. That's what they do. That's what they do. They 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 all and even even streamers do that. They'll talk shit on you, tell you to come in there, and then when you come in there, they'll block you and then talk shit while you ain't saying anything. Have you ever seen people do that? Yeah. Like, come in here, I dare you. You go in there and then they like block you and then they're like, look, see, they won't even say anything. Yeah, because you blocked me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. It's the stupidest fucking thing. And speaking of blocked, I went over there and aggravated Miss Fucking Wonderful, who lost her shit all again this week. Oh Lord, her she blocked you her too. Twitter. She said every time she sees me in like anywhere that she like when I went out of Abe's and then this other time she's like, "Who's hey, Tara?" And I could literally see her. I was only a second comment in, and I was working on my third comment, and I didn't make it through. <laughs> she kicked me straight out. Whatever, cry baby. For a bitch that talks so much shit. Whatever. I saw Susan Mundy over at Poons. She hangs around the same drama channels. Oh, also, here, let me message Tom real quick. He should have been back by now. Okay. So, um... All right, back on track. What were we talking about? Sorry. <laughs> I had to take care of that. What the hell are you doing? 
I had to message Tom. I'm getting a little worried. He should have been home by you now. You tell Tom that during our stream time, he needs to make sure that he gives you no reason to have to interrupt it. You know what I'm saying? I agree. So, you need to have a word with him. I will. I will speak with Tom Selleck <laughs> when he gets back. So, uh, did you hear Camillo? Listen, y'all keep fucking around with Camillo and Lolly over there. Camillo over there recording his conversation with Bergs and posting it up. Did you well, see I mean, that? He posting that stuff about him and between him and Mark. Yeah, I know. But now about we know the, he records about the phone fake, conversations About the fake too, fight, so. you know, all that. So he shares DMs, yeah. and he records your phone conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, now you know, and if it happens to yeah. you, don't cry because you know it. We're telling you yeah. right now. <clears throat> exactly. So I was thinking, I was talking t uh, to a friend of mine. I had an idea. Well, they had an idea about so a lot of you guys have really cute pets. So I was thinking about having you guys send me your pet pictures each week. And I might, we might do uh, every once in a while, we might post them up or show them. Get you say this is a, you say this is a we might, or is this a we might, or is this a stitches is going to? Well, I'll Which, get it together and then I'll give it to you and then you'll post it. Oh yeah. So like, we, it'll be an effort. It'll hey, be a team effort. You know what I, her idea of getting it together is, don't you guys? Her what? idea of getting it together is sending me a bunch of shit in the DMs that I have to go through and, and that edit. That is not and... <laughs> always true. That was only true this particular time, you liar. And that's because you know more about this topic today How than me. How can you so. tell me? Look, see, that don't even make sense. How can you tell okay, me that you that is only <laughs> true this particular time you liar. So you tell me it's true, and then you call me a liar. Okay, it is true this time, but it is not true every time. I'm only talking about this time. I only take right, situations. Well, this time is true. Look, I only take situations look, as they happen, not oh, as they are about to happen. That's so messed up. You only valid this one time. Right. But I don't get to be valid all these other times. I got it. Right. I got it. That's you, fucked up. You that ain't even fair. You That's understand. not even fair. Why isn't it fair? Because <laughs> I should get credit. I should get. I gave you a gold star today. You don't even give me no star as a green or red one. You ain't even <laughs> put me on the board. That's messed up. <laughs> uh, 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 Brock says uh, she scanned the chat and all she saw was Carney talking about dildos. <laughs> okay. Oh Lord, I got. Oh, I'm not even on top chat. Well, don't daily. be. Don't um judge. Uh, uh, Brock, don't judge. Okay. They might be exactly, fair. Exactly, Lucy. They might be therapeutic dildos. How do you know? Are are all of them therapeutic? I don't know. I, I don't I use them, so I will have no idea. But I'm just well, saying. I would say they are. Well, have I they would been? Say have they, they been are. therapeutic for you? Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> she said, "Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah." Oh, uh, also, no. I was thinking about this situation with Steve, and I wanted to give Steve some advice. See, Steve, I was listening to Steve, and he was going at it with somebody about the whole his past again, right? And he he was like, lost his cool about it, and then he was like, this is the last time, and then y'all will have to wait six more months or whatever, and then y'all will aggravate me enough till I lose it again, right? Because it's the same story, it's the same questions, the same answer, and it's also so fucking old. And um, so I was thinking, Steve, what you should do is you should get, since it's all, all, all of it's already out there, redact it a little bit to where, you know, if you don't want certain things shown, I would get everything together. Maybe even go and get some clips where you've already dealt with other people. Make a little video Put that shit up on your channel and anybody that comes at you, just say next to those motherfuckers and direct them. If they want to know your business, there's <clears> a link to the, to the, you know, to the truth. Can I make you a little sound? Can I make a little sound bite of Lolly saying next? And then every time I can play that. Yeah, let's hear it. 
No, I don't have one right now. <laughs> no, yeah, I've got you. That would be good. Just every time. Next! Oh, maybe I can record you doing that. Oh, no. Why not? And then I'll just play you saying, Next! Uh-uh. Uh, no. What's up, Dar Dar Daria? What's up, Hipster Heaven? Trisha? Did I say hey to all these people? Oh, yeah. See, this is what aggravates me. Like, we picked our show time when we did, and that Layla can never be here because she's always with her mans well, on Sunday. Okay, that's fine. But you see what happened? We're her, we're her YouTube parents, okay? Mm -hmm. And her man might be there today, <laughs> but who's always going to be here? Your parents, young exactly. lady. Exactly. So... There you go. What do you think about that? Yeah, I like it. Has she ever Listen. said it with anger in her voice? Oh, she screamed it before, okay? You never heard <laughs> Lolly scream next? Yeah. I it's, did. I said, hey, baby Yoda, you missed it. Yeah, if I was to play that outside, I could probably call the coyotes out from the wilderness up to the house with that screech. Oh, my God. When Lolly... When Lolly does it up oh my god it's like i can't help but laugh my fucking ass off because she <laughs> i mean i don't know she the, her trigger is hysterical and screeching to the ears at the same time hey, she's Dave, something else what's been going on over there have you still been going over there trolling and rolling and I, fucking around with them? i haven't seen um over there uh lately I haven't huh. seen. You know what I actually been doing? I haven't been watching a whole lot on the YouTube because I've been um got a couple projects that I've been working on and um, Okay. And that's what I've been working on. Oh. Well, do you want to share with the class what your projects have been? Well, I'm building this Glock 17 right now. Nice, um, nice. And that's preparing yourself for the purge, are you? No, no, I'm already been prepared for that. <laughs> this is just something I do. I gotta quit though. My wife. What's up, Poon? What's up, Susan? What's up, Monroe? Your wife, what? Cause she always Hello? talk. She always asks me how many guns do I need. I'm like, yeah. Well, when you're preparing for the purge and the how apocalypse, you of... need a whole lot. How many bottles of fingernail polish of our Sephora? Oh, look what Sephora. Sean the Brit said. Tara, I saw Lolly in a chat Friday, and she said that John's mother had passed, so he won't be around for a couple of days. Oh, well. Well, that's sad. I hate to hear that. Right. Rest well, in peace, Mama Camillo. Okay. Yes, yes. Everybody pray for uh, John's mama. Well, I guess you don't need to be prayed for no more. You just pray for John, <laughs> for John. okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, I mean, really, <clears throat> I haven't really. Oh, also, um, they did end up charging Controlla with reckless driving and child endangerment, plus a whole bunch of other shit. And, yeah, she was on her phone. So, I, last week when I said, you trash, you are definitely trash, honey. So, I just wanted to throw that in there. No, I mean, oh, you... and, ha and Hazel finally stood up to Lisa this week. Why is Lisa so, even bothering with Hazel? What did Hazel do? Do you know how many times has that happened? She attacks Hazel like she does um, Layla. Layla, right. Okay. Yeah. It's the same kind of thing, man. I can't explain it. It's a, mean, says, girl, you know, a mean girl thing. You're prettier than yeah. I am. You've got nicer clothes than I do. You're you're better Probably than less. me. Your hair's blonder <laughs> than mine. My, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. My neck's longer <laughs> than yours. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, anyway, so... <clears throat> Today, what's up, Vegas Barbie? Miss, what's up, Michelle? Uh, what's up, Jake? Did I say hey to you? So, Poon. Okay, just imagine, so, a, just imagine if I was like some of these other people and didn't have any morals or filter or. Oh or, Lord, we could be real mean this week. Right, <laughs> I, I could do yeah. it up. 
I, and trust look, me, I, I, I came on the edge of doing that because you can only like, okay, I can only be quiet for so long. I mean, you can only poke and poke and poke and poke me. So if I sit there and don't say anything in return, uh, you know, we, we had it out up here on my, sh oh, we had it out on her stream. We had it out on my stream, on my stream. She said she was going to leave me alone. And what, it was the very next morning she was up there dragging me, Mike. Exactly. What even nothing. 20, what even 24 hours. And I hadn't said a damn word. And then, for five fucking days, every time she's talking, she's blaming me. She's got these people like that fucking crayon eater over there thinking I am on a channel fucking around that I've never had a password to, never held a wrench in. How the fuck do I have anything to do with what's going on over in that channel? You hacked it. Okay? You hacked her. Oh, man. You guys better watch the fuck out. The secret is out. I can't even get my internet to run good enough to run the fucking stream without Mike properly. <laughs> but I'm over here hacking into people's YouTube accounts. You know, every week, every week. How long have we been doing these streams? Um, what, three months? Okay. So every week. And how long did we do them before? Uh, two years almost. Okay, so every week. You should have the same audio issue every week. You know that, don't you? No, what's it this week? You've been saying it's been good since I got my headset. No, it was what's the good. When, it was good once you got it working. Is it good now? Yeah, it's been fine since you got it working. Oh, oh, you're just calling me out for me not. Ha it wasn't. It was because I. Told, you know what? Shut up, stitches. <laughs> It was because for some reason I had to completely reinstall the Google Hangout shit. I don't know why. <laughs> well, she probably won't do that ever again if she if she reads that All comment. All right, Jake. Jake. <laughs> Fuck off. Said, listen, I know I'm going to get trolled for that because there's no crying on fucking YouTube. But listen, dudes, I told you guys that she legitimately hurt my fucking feelings. Now, I had the right to walk away from someone I did not feel that I, in, that I no longer wanted to engage with with I, I feel like i should be able to have the right to do that in any relationship i'm in if i don't want to be in that relationship anymore i feel that i should be able to walk away if i, if I haven't done anything to you then you just let me walk away but that has not what has happened this we're looking at since september was the last time i messaged lisa before I t went live and I had been trying to call her and I had been messaging her at that point. So this whole, my phone is broke. I don't know if she's slow and don't understand, or if she thinks that, I mean, I recently tried to call her cause no, I did not recently try to contact her. What I'm saying is before I reacted, she was already over there dragging me and doing shit out loud on her stream. And before I ever said one thing to her, that's what Dateline's video is about. Before I ever said one thing out loud to any of you guys, I s tried to call her twice. And <clears throat> not only that, but I sent her uh, that long fucking message. And I also posted on my community page that I guess I'm going to have to go tell my side of the story. She did all that before I ever even said anything. Well, Grand Grogu, I'm not going to ask how you know that. <laughs> so I, she did. She she should have had my number uh, and got my message then. And as far as it, when I called her, she gave me the fuck you button. You know, when it rings like two and a half times and then you're sent straight voice to voicemail. Mail. Right. Yeah. So, her, so there's the truth on all of that. And it's been since September that I started fighting back. It's been since, you know, um, you know, a month before that, that she, you know, you know, I walked away from her or whatever. At this point, I don't understand the keep on the harping and the keep on, like, I didn't do anything to deserve to be shit on. I, that girl was in my life every day, every day in my life for some, in some fashion for three, almost for, for four solid years now.
Okay. So it's not always just the internet. And yeah, I get that, you know, the crying and it probably made a lot of you laugh. I've rolled my eyes at plenty of people crying on here. So trust me, I was completely and fucking embarrassed. But when I, you know, Lisa didn't always used to be this way, especially she wasn't ever mean like this to me. And when somebody you really think is your friend and you put a lot of time into their real life and caring about their real life, when they go and just say the most and shit on you and lie on you and try to get people to believe things that you've done that aren't true, like that shit stings and it hurts your feelings. And if it don't, then you don't fucking have any feelings. You don't have any empathy, but you're all free to judge me. And Lisa's free to keep talking on me. But at some point, you know, I'm going to just, you keep on talking about me. I'm going to react. I'm going to try to ignore you. But at some point, you know, I'm going to drag your ass right back. I got plenty I can drag and I've been holding back. And I don't do and say a lot of things I could because I don't want to regret things. Right, because Tara's told me many times that there's a lot of shit she could say, but she doesn't want to be like that. She doesn't want to be right. like like Lisa's being, so she right. don't say it. Um, now, does she right. sometimes get triggered? And yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's why her name is Triggered Tara. But, um. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Never deny it around here, honey. Sean the Brit said I get a one-time pass, but it's used and gone now. Well, I, I guess I won't tell you that's the second time I've done that on YouTube, and I'll act like I can take the pass. <laughs> it's got to be the last time, though, for real. I don't At this point, I don't have anybody in my life that I feel would do that. I don't feel like I'm going to ever have like that kind of problem ever again. Thank you, Earth. I appreciate it. What's up, Rainy? But anyway, so so, so I want okay, so I want what I was going to ask you a question, Mike. Ask me a question. So so Fupa had a, a reminder. What's up, German lady? Fupa had a reminder to the community about rich life, about rich life saying something about Anna, and you you confirmed to me that yes, FUPA's telling the truth that you saw it. Now I've worked real hard. I've been, you, 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 listen, you pick on me, but when you get in box inboxes with people, do you know how much time that can take just trying to gather shit from all these different people? Um, but nobody could seem to get me the clip of, um, what he said about Anna, what you and Fupa said you heard, and but, nobody see, this is, seemed to get me the clip about really about Lisa. Uh, so, see that's the you're saying because the ahead. problem the problem is with somebody like Rich Life that used to stream every day four or five hours a time. When people they don't back then you couldn't clip things. You could just take and get the whole stream, or you could okay. record. You know what I'm saying? Right. Somebody has that in a stream. I probably have it in the stream, but what it's going to take to re I don't know which stream it was. And I don't even know about what time it was. No, so, but isn't that channel completely gone anyway? Exactly, but that stream is, is uh, more than likely somebody has clipped that whole stream. You think now, Waffles might have it? <laughs> probably, but it's a matter of finding which stream and then going through a four or five hour stream to find that clip. You know what I'm saying? You know how yeah. long it takes to do that? Yeah, and that's why, you know, I, you know, but so we didn't find that clip. <clears throat> Not yet. So at this point, at this point, we're still looking for it. At this point, you'll just have to either choose to believe that Fupa and Mike tell you that they heard it exactly the same way. I mean, I and know. What I, was it that, what was it again in a nutshell that see, this is he did to Anna? I guess basically spooned with her. And he all, I got a clip where he almost says it, but he doesn't quite say it because this is how this happened. When he first said that, I was listening to the stream. And since my Stitches Malone account was blocked, as it always is, um, I, <laughs> on a different account, I told him that that can be considered a predatory act. This is right. where it comes where you hear him. If you've ever heard him whining on G's or Abe and says, Stitches is going around saying I'm a predator. Well, I don't go around saying that all the time. 
And where that came from was from him saying this, um, saying this type of stuff like he did with Anna. He's also said it where he's taking pictures of Lisa. Um, mm-hmm. we, so ha- we do have those clips. We have that clip. Okay. I also, and Four has it clipped where he was recording those 14-year-olds. On, they're, they're maybe 15 with their little 15-year-old boyfriends uh, on the beach. In their bathing suits, right. Yeah. And then remember that time he was messing around, flirting with those two little, like, 19-year-olds after he left Lisa's at that gas station? Right, I tried and, to find that clip, but I didn't find it. Well, and he stalks those young girls on TikTok. On oh, TikTok, that's yeah. And if you go to some His of those TikTok girls, is that, disgusting. If you yeah. go to some of those, well, it's on private, so you can, you know, you he don't want everybody to see it. Um. So RSN New Community is the Predator Show, <laughs> but so that's why you hear me call that. Um, I mean, if you want me to play a clip. I'll play it clear. Yeah, we can check out. Oh, my God. Somebody get that out of the chat. So. Fucking. You people are fucking sick. Go ahead, Mike. So. Let's do this one. What's up, Fifty Shades? Hey, How's it going, girlfriend? I got a picture of me and Lisa laying in the bed on, one night when on. I was... Let's start that over. Let's get it okay. right here. Yeah, we're just going to take you guys down a little memory lane about what Rich Life is really about. And I know there's a lot of people around here that stand up for Chris, and CJ's over there riding his dick, trying to do whatever. Good luck, CJ. He's already tried to rage quit on you. Um, you have to basically kiss his fucking ass to keep him up there. Um, and pay him money. He's CJ paid him money. Oh, okay. Well, that's Rich a, Life that's gets paid well. to be up there. Yeah. I think he said he's he's got paid two hundred and fifty dollars already. <clears throat> okay. Well, good for you know Rich Life or whatever. But I'm just saying, man. You, this, you know this dude that you know that admitted, saying. He's admitted. He's admitted to fucking around with women that are to trust that they're in his presence that go to sleep. And he was he fucking creeping around and doing while they're sleeping. Can you imagine someone looking over you and taking pictures of you while you're fucking sleeping? What a creep move. Go ahead, Mike. And and in this clip we're getting ready to watch, people try to insinuate later that Lisa knew um that he took this picture, but obviously she didn't know you know, you can tell by her well, reaction. Well, I can speak on that because I was in, I was very, like I said, she was in my life every single right. solitary fucking day. And I know what she did and didn't know. And no, the, those pictures where she's like sleeping and shit, she didn't know about that shit. She didn't know about a lot of stuff until after he left. All right. So, so here. And Rich Life, this is because uh, I don't usually say anything to you or do videos on you and stuff. No, but you're not. Hey, you I told, you. Go ahead. you said for me to prove this stuff that I'm saying. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Receipt. And go and just like you told me the other day, you'll strike my goddamn ass. I hope you do. <laughs> so while you explain to YouTube how I'm harassing you, I'll explain to YouTube why how you're not supposed to even be on here. So you play that game if you want to. Okay. All right. Oh, so. uh, whatever, Kimberly. You're still over there telling your lies on everything else, and you chased after Rich Life. Shut up. Don't ever dare come in here and tell me you told me anything. All Just right. talk to your friends and keep it moving, girlfriend. You got it. Okay. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, guys. Here we go. Yes, I got a we're... picture of me and Lisa laying in the bed one night when I was on my phone, and that's evidence. No, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh, evidence that you want? Like, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do the first one. Wow, wow, Why so would you lie? That is creepy, that. Rich. I'm just saying that. Show it, Lisa. Show it, creep up. Show it, creep up. We're going to make you more creep than you are. This is why I don't want to be around this motherfucker. I hate him. 
Go ahead, show it. No, you don't. Show no, it right now, don't. motherfucker. Show it. No, I want to no, see my. Yeah, show it. I want no. to see it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. <laughs> I just had one question. Was she aware that pictures okay, show were it. taken? <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, she, she was aware. She was that. aware. Okay, that's Got it. Is it that one where you ain't got nothing on but uh, us? I think it was one with show your leg shit. showing. So you see how they all immediately were? Oh, yeah, she knew. She knew. Yeah, she knew. Well, she yeah, didn't know. Instantly. That's- saying that but lisa said i don't know if i knew or not show it okay so that and this is that's why whenever rich life would be yeah, with it, this is why this. Ah, yeah, life man. that's why rich life um because the way he does on camera you can bet you he's worse off camera you know what i'm saying Oh, I can't even imagine, but I got to listen to him. You know what I mean? When he was over at Lisa's, I got to hear plenty. Right. And that's why this stuff like this happens. Watch. Watch this one. Yeah, I had some people tell me, they said, Rich Life was not Bonnie and Anna's like, oh, two fucking hands off. Sorry, me. baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Calling her baby. I remember that. I saw that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there. So, you know, and also, hey, also, do you remember? I tried to find this clip when they were traveling in that. I don't know if it, I think they were they in his town and country. I think so. And she was in the back, and the curtain was up, and he went to mess with the curtain, and she snatched the curtain down and was like, ready, like, fucking don't even think about it mode. And it made me real think, like, he, he's always trying to creep, and she was very ready for it defense of it all the time and then he brought that little young girl all the way to North Carolina and then and then just what did he ditch her at he didn't even help her get back home what did how did Anna even I completely forgot the story about Anna what Mike? how she what uh, I, didn't he said something about she went to Florida but I think she wound back up at Mississippi. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, because she <laughs> was with said that. Getting out of that band was like that dude escaping from from Dahmer. Because she was um. I don't. I don't remember. Because she was. Remember, he. he she said he was. She was with some old man when he dropped her off. Remember that. Yeah, and that she was fine. What's up, Mark? Uh, Fupa said, when I confronted Rich Life on G-Stream about Anna punching him, all went up. He's something about he was always denying it. She was always hitting him. What's up, Winnie? He took pictures of Molasses' boobs when she was asleep at Rosie's. I never heard that before. Yeah, he's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's like kind of our point, Winnie, is, uh, that people don't like for us to say, you know, certain things about people. But when you literally, uh, I mean, live out loud and show everybody exactly your predatorial behavior. I mean, do you have any of that TikTok stuff, Mike? Um, yeah, hold on. Let's see where that was. I mean, these girls on TikTok are his daughter's age. I gotta figure out. What so, all right, Quinny and them are saying, "What's mm-hmm. up, Queen? What's up, Queen?" Hey, hey, right. Mark. I don't know. I got this. This right here. It's just there's so many things. There's so many clips and so many things that. It's hard to know what is in each clip. Yeah, you know there was a lot. I, you know what I mean? He's always being a damn pervert. He did so much on Lisa after he left Lisa's uh, that he, you know. I felt like playing all of that's like on repeat because they went on and on at each other for, you know, a long but time. Like this right here. This was a screen cap from his, um, from the TikTok, from his page. 
And see these young this girl right here, if you go to her page, she's only like 16, 17 years exactly. old. Exactly. What are you doing on minors pages drooling and creeping on them? That's you're an old fucking man, Chris. And I don't want to hear anybody say anything about any kind of fucking disability. Your disability ain't blocked you from right and wrong. You know the difference between right and fucking wrong, dude. Drooling over someone younger than your own damn daughter. He got no damn disability. What's that, monkey boy? So now I'm going to talk about you, and I don't give a fuck if you go cry about it. And strike us, and we'll, we'll appeal it, we'll win, and then we'll turn your ass in for fucking being here, because you're not even supposed to be. No, and he basically said that he has sexually assaulted Lisa. And listen, uh, I tried my hardest to get Lisa to press charges against him because we had it recorded, but she didn't want to. And I mean, that all that's still out there. I just couldn't find the stuff with... Um... Yeah, there, there, I got one clip to where um, he's in a, in a restaurant... A Hooters or somewhere. Oh, yeah, where he's harassing the young waitress. Play that one. Uh, I got to find it. Hold on. And I'm and... going to get, hey, A-Rod, I'm going to get lobbed to hell. <laughs> he's going to get it all pro Obama. <laughs> Whatever, Rich Life. Let's see it, Mike. Hold on. Let me find it. I can't remember exactly, Sue. See, it was something like that, and he didn't. He did talk to her father, and I think they. I don't know what ended up happening with Anna. I found it. You get. Yeah, here we go. At the rest stop area, the girls, they said, were 16. It, that's what I was talking about earlier, Witty. I couldn't find that clip, and that was after he left Pittsburgh, running back home, right. crying to his mammy. He was messing around with those little girls at the at the gas station. Right. In the store. Yeah, I remember that. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Are you live streaming? Yeah. Please don't put my staff in it. She felt uncomfortable. Okay. Okay, so we kind of... Are you blushing? No. <laughs> oh my God. Who is that? A girl I had a good night with. <laughs> I bet. Showing that young girl. She's in that, girl, she's like, in that video. She's on the hood. Of your fucking I, dreams, I, that. Chris. I was looking at the comment. Oh, oh wow. She's pretty. <laughs> to the Lamborghini, J Love. I got a lot of girls that I'm kissing. I got a lot of girls. Whatever. She looks like she's out of an Eminem. Probably saying hi. My name is. After the kiss. Hey, baby. Kiss you getting him a little kiss. <laughs> that's just. I got, I got video. I got. Oh, I got. I and got that's Braddy Cup. First of all, right he's here. a fucking liar. Cause I just saw that picture and I really got a good look for the first time. That's Braddy Cupcake in old school. She been around forever. She's got a YouTube channel and she's real popular on uh, you now or whatever that other chat line is. Okay, Rich Life. You're kissing Braddy Cupcake. <laughs> sure, bro. Sure. How you know? You jealous of his life? I'm je Listen, I'm so jealous that... What's up, hey? What's up, Hazel? How's it going? Let's see. He also said I just want... Okay, he also just said I wanted him to come see me, but then I wouldn't give him my address. Oh, okay. See, I, I didn't really... The, Danny D and all of them hung out over at... Well, welcome home, Tom Selleck. Golly. Hey, look, yeah. Witty. If I would have if I'd left playing that, Witty, he was going to show a picture of you next. Who, me? No, oh, of, Witty. Oh, of Witty. Oh, yeah. He shows, he shows a picture of Witty, and everybody's talking about Witty looking hot in the picture. Right. But I think he said... I think he said Witty uh, sent that to him, so... Witty, I bet you're part of the spank bank. Right. <laughs> bet you are. 
Well, look, that's pretty good though. She hey, get at, hey, that's pretty good if she got yep. added to the spank bank because she had she was fully clothed. So that means, um, you know, yeah, he has to use his imagination, right? Oh, uh, what do y'all think? Who 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 in here likes rich life? Any anybody want to stand up and give us some? What's up, Terry Meeks? Give us some good qualities about rich life. I could say something, you know, okay, so Abe used to do this thing when people would be, two people would be fighting each other and he would challenge you to say, if you don't really, if you really can't stand someone, can you say one nice thing about them? So here's my one nice thing I would say about rich life. When he stops doing all that pervy shit and he chills, like when he was stoned at Lisa's and he was just chill and he was like making up raps and reading the chat and he was like, hey, no trolls going to worry me up. That's a fun rich life. If he was like that all the time, he would have, he wouldn't have gotten kicked out of here. He'd have a full on successful channel and he would be fun to go hang out with, but What's up, Samantha? But instead, he's a whole sexual predator crybaby, bitch boy. He leaves, who leaves me messages and then deletes them. He ghost comments me. Exactly, he Sean. Sean the That's right, Sean. He, he, Sean said, I find him funny, but don't agree with all this garbage. Yeah, if he left all that shit off of it, garbage as Sean calls it, he would, I, I just don't understand people. And you can't tell him nothing because he knows every damn thing. No, just like I was saying the other week over on G's, just like when he had that rogue mod and I was trying to help him when he was at Lisa's, he, he thought I was trying to take over his channel. But... Yeah, he gets it all pro bomo. That's right, hipster <laughs> heaven. We're just jealous because he made two point five million at the slice last week, folks. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I I don't believe he had all that money from the um from the um casino. Do you do you think it was really fake money? Uh, who was it? Somebody told me. Was it pirate? No. Was it Rachella? One of them told me it was fake money. What happened? What happened, baby? The little, the little baby went. The little boy went. Let you leave. Well, that was the first thing. Okay. So when All right, to Tom Selleck, me and you have to have a talk. Oh, hold on. He can't hear you. Let me uh, unplug my mic real quick. Hold on. Go ahead, Mike. Tom Selleck, me and you have to have a discussion from here on out going forward. Uh, you have to make <laughs> sure that nothing. Uh, interrupts her during the stream time because she gets off course and you were worrying her up and she couldn't concentrate. Okay? I know. I was getting that message on the other end. Well, he said, I'll be home in a second and 45 minutes went by and he was five minutes down the road. You don't huh. know that men's seconds are longer than women's seconds. You don't no, know he's that? he's not like that. Listen, his, his seconds are usually seconds. There's multitudes of things that happened. Okay. <laughs> Okay. When you have a child that always thinks they're smarter than their parent, but oh. then they prove they're not, and it takes extra time. Oh, uh, what? Because you told Evan you didn't need to go in the house? Well, there's just several things. We can just leave. Okay, we'll talk <laughs> about it later. <laughs> number one was the grandbaby. When I did walk in, he was sitting in the high chair with his back to the front door, so he didn't know I was coming in the door. When he seen me, he freaked out like he scored a touchdown yes. in the Super Bowl. <laughs> and, like, yeah. God, man, he gets down so, and runs. So to his, his mom was like, oh, my gosh, don't jump out of the high chair. Because <laughs> he was all excited. Right. And that was it. Lunch it, was over. Yeah. He wanted me. He, I was about to leave. And, and he, he went to have his meltdown. Out, had a whole meltdown. He loves his literally, grandpa. And literally, they were like, his legs were around me. And <laughs> it was like, he was, it was like, around around like a monkey. Yeah. They were like, did they have to pull him off of well, you? I was there for a little longer. Cause what of, stitches? The little oh. grandson I got, if I walk by in there and I don't pick him up and give him a hug, right? 
He'll right. get pissed off and start throwing shit in there. His toys, he'll be throwing them bitches. I'll be like, calm yeah, down. Yeah, they love their grandpas. Is my sound okay in the side chat? Because if I can keep this headset off, I will. You sound fine. Okay. Yeah, and he loves me. Trust me, he loves me. But I'm chump change when, when. well, no, that's not true. He shows me a lot of attention, but it's all about Tom Selleck, honey. He can, and if he comes in the door, that's it. He runs to him. It's so fucking cute. So Brock had said something up there earlier before Tom came in. We'll get back on. We'll get back on uh, topic about all rich life. And so Brock, what did you say? You said something about if all of this can be proven. I mean, I don't know that anything could be done about him just being a creep and a perv. I missed your comment. Is that the real Berg show or is that a troll I mean, account? Look, <laughs> obviously the people don't care enough about it um, to for anything to be done. But you just need to be aware. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, I, I think it's. I think all of you people need to realize that these look at these old creepy men out here preying on your 15 and 16 year old daughter's TikToks. Right. Fucking weirdo, man. You're a weirdo, Rich Life. I don't get it. He, he obviously thinks that's um <sighs> normal. I oh, guess. um uh, I see Mr. T, it just triggered me. Um I got let's talk real quick about so I don't forget about Mark Terry's interview um with Facey and um Punky. He was scared. Listen, he was all up all, there. He was yeah. all up there scared and shit like they were going to flog him or something. They should have, but I'm just saying. And the thing that made the thing is, is that, and I'm saying this because I know that Mark's in the chat and Mark's been letting me, I've been going over in the Mark's side chat and stuff. So I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to drag you be mean, Mark. What's up, kid and cat? But Mark. Are you still holding on to the fact that you got your guts cut out with a box cutter? Do I don't even like Zaxby's if that's what you meant to sell. Spell, I mean. Mark is still, he, he they asked him, up. didn't you watch the interview with that he did with Facey and Punky? Yes, I heard him. I, well, sometimes I, Mark's talking, he's just, just like background noise. No, he's still telling the story about getting kidnapped and getting his guts cut out with the box cut. Oh, uh, did Lolly, did Lolly you save him? Did, listen, I'm thinking that's who <laughs> Lolly shot was his abductor. Oh, him and Lolly were riding. He didn't, Lolly don't want to tell that part. Okay. They were riding dirty together. Mark, <laughs> I got come you. On. I, you. Mark gave little tips. He said, like, where it happened and this kind of stuff. I looked up all kinds of stuff looking for – that would have been on the news, Mark. There would have been some kind of record of that. I couldn't find no traces, nothing like that happening. Uh, kind of like really with Lolly. Kind of like with Lolly. Are you like a double agent for the FBI, Mr. T? What's up with you? <laughs> I'm just saying, Mark, come on, come clean. Just say you did that for the lows, for the fun of it, for the troll of it. I just can't take it seriously. There's no way that happened. You, how, how does someone even continue to live after they get their guts cut out with a box cutter? Exactly, thanks, Barbie. Exactly, Barbie. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know that it was pointless. Um, it was... Well, we didn't learn anything new. There and ain't nothing there new to learn. Question. You already know. There's nothing new to learn. You already know it all. Yeah, well, you know. I was thinking he was going to at least not try to tell the same deal. I mean, he didn't even try to bomb or weave the question about getting, um, getting <laughs> his guts cut out. Exactly, Carney. I'm just saying. Well, Mark, obviously, somebody put him back in. <laughs> Well, Sean the Brit, more than it is to prove a scar, he said they caught the guys. So Mark could have a de more detailed story, and it could be actually verified. It's not like he's not docs. He docs himself. His name is Mark Terry. So giving up a story about something that really happened to him, that w there's got to be some kind of receipt. What's up, Kinky Kim? What's up, Joe King? 
I'm just I mean, saying, don't Mark. He, don't he have a scar like a, like a woman gets after she has a C-section or something, I'm right? I'm thinking if you got cut open with a box cutter and your gut's taken out, you'd have a pretty nasty fucking scar, and it'd be, you know, something maybe they else. Were, maybe they were precise with the box cutter. I don't know. Look, Carney's got your back, Mark. Come through with the proof. Mark, do you know what kind of incredible story you could have and own all of us if it was the truth? Come on, man. Just come clean. That shit ain't true. <laughs> no, I'm not buying it. Is that the real Bergs? I'm thinking that. What's up, Adrian? I How's don't it know. If are... I haven't seen you in a long time, honey. Yes, it is the real Bergs. It is okay. the one and only. It's the one and only real child doc sing Bergs. Right. Hey Bergs, how did how did you feel about Camilla recording y'all's conversation and posting it up on his uh community tab? He didn't like it, did he? Didn't he have a meltdown did, did about it? Yeah, I don't know, did he? Oh, I know. Kitten Cat said Berg spent two weeks kissing Lolly's ass and got zero to money for it. So Bergs, how do you so you don't Bergs, let me tell you something right now. First of all, Bergatron, I literally with my own two ears heard you up on that panel, call out Lisa's grandchildren's names, call out Lisa's daughter's Facebook name, make fun of the names of her grandchildren. You were fighting with Lisa and you were definitely doxing her grandchildren and her daughter's names and making fun of it. I don't need to bring a receipt. I heard that shit with my own two fucking ears. And if you were too drunk to remember, that is not my problem, but it fucking happened. What's up, Munchie Chi? What's up, Wing Star? What's up, Take Back? Welcome to the chat. Take Back wants to know what you got to do to get uh, make money kissing ass. He wants to get in on it. I don't know. I don't know nothing about all that. Let's think about it. What... I mean, I guess you got to kiss ass. I don't know. Maybe you need a mentor. Maybe you need a mentor take back. Maybe you need somebody like Mr. T to show you the ropes or um, Bergs to show you the ropes or what? Bergs, that wasn't a fake Bergs. You were on base and it was a fake Bergs. Do what? <laughs> he said it was a fake Bergs. He Who was said on that? Penalty. Berg said that was a fake Bergs. You were on oh. panel. <laughs> you were on panel talking. You didn't type it. Ding dong. You definitely did. You said her grandchildren's <laughs> full names. You said her mom's full names. Oh, wait. Let me see what Jake. Jake said he sent me something. Let me go look real quick. <laughs> Hey, Mark, okay, what did so, you do to... All right, so what Mark. Jake is sending me, what Jake is sending me is a, a picture of Mark Terry's entire lower abdomen, and there's no scar at all unless stretch marks count. What you got to say about that, Maybe Mark Terry? Maybe those are scars. He said, Mark, you're a strange dude. I mean, Jake, you're a strange dude. But isn't it kind of strange to tell such a, a crazy lie? Isaac knows how to scam money better than anyone on the platform. Take back. I'm sure he can give you some pointers, says Steve Billings. So I see Susan Mundy ain't trying to come in here, so I guess she's not going to come up and have a conversation. No, she'll Mark, talk. She'll wait till she gets on Lisa's and talk junk. Mark, Mark, do you want to come up and let's talk about, let's talk about <laughs> your abduction? Do you want to come up, Mark, to the panel? I'll get Stitches to send you the link. I can't send him anything. He got me blocked on Twitter. Mark, why would you have Stitches blocked? The nerve of you. Why? What's up, Bacon? Where do you see Bacon at? I didn't see Bacon come here. Oh, I bet she thinks Joe King is Bacon. Uh, because he stood up and he stretched out and his shorts were dropping low. 
and he raised his arms and his t-shirt came up high so it's a screenshot i guess jake saved it let me see what let me see what shauna brett got i'm just saying mark terry uh exactly sean the brit and i'm not going to show that but look at that wow sean bless mark, your heart honey. mark said mark said see you later he's going to watch the game <laughs> oh all right bye mark terry see you later honey uh what's up betty how's it going girlfriend so take back said he hasn't trained me that part yet steve you were around quite a few times when it happened maybe you can give me a few tips that you learned from your time served okay <laughs> so sean the brit says you can show this if he don't mind so i'm going to say it wasn't you going hey, listen, to hold up mike listen i'm going to save this picture and i'm about to send it to you since Mark goes around and tells everybody that he got his guts cut out and Sean the Brit just gave us permission, said he don't mind uh, if uh, we show it. If Mark had got his guts cut out, he should have something like this going on. Like what? I sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to me. Oh. Man, you try real hard, troll. I mean, gross. The fuck is wrong with you? What do you think about that? See? Hell, hold on. It'll take it a minute for me to come up. You know, I, you know, I got lag on my. Oh um, yeah, you got that. Yeah, I can look on my. I can look on my. You got that hillbilly oh. um internet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No Comcast out here, man. Mark said, see that, so that's Sean the Brit having a surgery, and I'll show the scar on a live stream. Okay, Mr. T. I know, Karen, right? That looked rough, Sean. What's up, Lydia, honey? I bet that was rough. What's up, Kathleen? Did I say hey to you, girlfriend? I don't know if I did. It's a hard life living in the country. It sure is. I mean, yeah, it's a little different. I had a gallbladder removal that went wrong. Oh, wow. My mom's about to have the Whipple surgery. They're, they're trying to get it set up. It'll probably be about another six months because she got a concussion, so... She can't get put to sleep right away, but that's going to be a whole major thing, too. Looks like my chest did when they sawed through my sternum. Damn, why did that happen, Fupa? That's intense. Mm. Hanging out with Shane, getting stabbed could happen one day, said Daria. Exactly. Yeah, and if you when you get your gallbladder removed, it, it there's a whole lot of it's like food goes straight through you. It's a whole thing. First of all, Bergs, I don't really eat fast food. I don't even like Arby's. You would have had to come with some like Moe's or some Chipotle to make me jealous. I will eat Wendy's though. What's your favorite fast food restaurant, Mike? Bojangles. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yes. That's your favorite? Yes. Interesting. Look, Brocky's skimpy nightgown showed up. What's up? Dang, Fupa, that's rough. Bojangles ain't even that fantastic, but they I do like their blueberry biscuits that you get for breakfast. Those are good. I can't send you a link, Mark. You uh, blocked me on Twitter. Mark, unblock Stitches on Twitter, and you can come up. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of fast food, but I will tell you that I will, I'll eat Wendy's. Um, I love a Dave's Double. Everybody, like, loves Whataburger, but personally, I think a Dave's Double from Wendy's is better, and Wendy's has the best uh, fast food French fries, in my opinion. 
But Bergs, I ain't jealous of your Zaxby's, You didn't honey. say that. That's not what you quit. You changed it now. Oh, wait. What'd I say? Hey, I said, you know what's your favorite fast food restaurant? You know what? Um, that's right. Steve Billings says, no fast food shaming me. Okay? I'm sorry. You know, I I'll like pop. Wendy's French fries, and you dip them in a Frosty. You ever done that? Oh! Yes, yes. Hey, and you know now Wendy's has like vanilla and strawberry frosties. Uh, but I can only I can only eat like um the little junior one. Those things are too heavy. So everybody oh look at all these people that had link me, I'll show the receipts. All right, well, Mr. T, did you hear me say unblock stitches? And send him a message and he'll give you the link. You can come up. I'll panel up for food, says Brocky's skimpy nightgown. You think Burger King has the best fries? I don't know about that one. I don't even like Burger King. I'm jealous of Rich Life's fake baked Rolex collection. Yeah. You got me. Those nacho fries from Taco Bell are bomb. I will eat Taco Bell if I have to, but... See a lot. Of, a lot of people really love Waterburger, but Whataburger, but I'm. That's I've, nasty. Had few, I've had a few times. I wasn't that impressed. Wow, Bubba. Well, I'm glad it was good for you. Yeah, I think Burger King's awful too. Take, but I don't eat McDonald's. I don't eat Burger King. If I eat Arby's, I eat the turkey, <coughs> like the turkey sandwich. <coughs> I don't eat Dairy Queen. None of that shit. <coughs> okay, Mark, um, you're going to aggravate me. Don't say it again. Unblock Stitches on Twitter and message him, and I'll give you a link. You ch what you choking on over there, Mr. Malone? <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a troll too, Sean the Brit. Mark, unblock stitches. You see, Karen typed it to you. So now you've been told it and you've been typed it. In and out a second to sh uh, Shaq. Shake Shack. I've never had that. I'm not a big fan of Steak and Shake. I don't really care for Sonic. So just listening says, wow, at Sean the Brick. Glad you survived all of that and back and are back around. You are definitely one of my favorite. Nothing but respect for you. And I agree. I love Sean the Brick. I love Sean the Brick, darling. I don't know, Dateline. It, oh, Dateline said it's the real Mr. T. Okay, so it's really... Mr. T, don't be trying to troll me over here, honey. It won't work. Skidmark can't find his scar. He is putting it off. He's in the bathroom <laughs> painting it on. <laughs> I wish you just come clean that it didn't even happen, Mark. Can the real Mr. T please stand up? <clears throat> well, I guess he's going to stand up and show us his belly. Okay, Mark, we'll go unblock Stitches on Twitter. Send him a message so he can send you the link. He's putting it on with a Sharpie. I'll be right up. What are you talking about, Mark? Mark over here trolling us. Maybe it's Maybelline exactly, Carney. I agree. I think that's more of the possibility. Mark. You're taking too long typing. Chop, chop. Get over there on Twitter. On Twitter, Twitter. What did Mike say he was going to do? He said, hold it down. He'll be right back. Let's talk about him while he's gone since he's been ragging me and dragging me since we started. I did get my fucking guts cut out, he said. Lydia's now, now Lydia wants Burger King. So the last couple of times I went to Burger King, it was just, ugh, ugh. I cook a lot, so, and also Tom Selleck will tell you I'm a food snob. Huh, babe? 
He likes Velveeta cheese slices. I like real cheese. You know what? Who really has a great fucking burger is Burger Fa. I don't know anybody's ever eaten there, but oh, we they got like a oh man, their burgers are the best. I I would choose them over Five Guys any day. Mark, you're about to get in trouble, Mark. See, Lydia, back in the day, Whoppers were the bomb, and so were Big Macs, but I don't know if it's because I got better taste buds or if they change shit. Shit don't taste the same. It's nasty to me. Yes, darkness. Yummy. I'll be ordering pizza for dinner tonight. I'm not cooking. Welcome back, Mike. Now, I made some good pesto mozzarella chicken with um, orzo. We had that last night, and that was pretty yummy. So tonight, no cooking. I don't, I'll don't. i either cook something like that I can cook all day or prep before we start streaming on Sunday, or either we do takeout on Sunday nights. We really don't eat out a lot, though. Well, Tom kind of does because he works. <laughs> I eat at Hooters. You eat at Hooters when? Five days a week. Five days a week? They know me by now. You must be eat. They know. They do. I'm kidding. How much so, do you tip them on regular? A dollar. Only for a dollar a day you can get Hooters in your face? Hey. It's a pretty uh -oh. good deal. That's <laughs> a pretty good deal. Oh, you know, I like Chick-fil-A. Tara, seriously, did the taste of all meat change after you had the C, the C, the cesarean, the... No, the corona. the COVID. First of all, no, the, yes and no. I didn't like that stuff before I got the COVID, but yes, my smell uh, messed up. Uh, Tom will tell you I used to have a super sniffer, and now I can't barely smell anything. I get to fart in the bed now. He it. <laughs> but he can smell the baby's diaper and I can't Ooh. and my taste did change after I, my taste buds did change Chipotle is good Joe King I love their, their balls I get it in a bowl and I like Moe's like yeah Mo's yeah I like spicy food wow you're in here kicking shit we got a new air fryer today so that was our excitement. <laughs> That's why I was late. Thank yeah. you to whoever sent it from YouTube. Oh, Lord. I appreciate it. Oh, Lord. Tell it lies. It came in hot. Oh, God. Tell it lies. We brought, we, this is the third air fryer we have gotten. And we get nice ones. I don't know why I keep burning through them, but this one's extra nice. I use mine so, all the time, and I've had it a couple years. I ain't never had problems. That's what I'm saying, ma'am. I don't know why I burn through them, but... They're great. They they're great. They're it's it makes cooking certain things better, healthier, easier. So I was remember when I was like, I'm almost done cleaning my kitchen. Well, Brock sent me um Brock sent me these really great um amino acids. And these pills are fucking huge. And you gotta take five of them at a time. You're supposed to take them three times a day, but so far I'm only just taking them two times a day. But they, when they kick in, um, like I've been working out, my dad gave me a treadmill, like I'll go work out. Uh, I fucking cleaned the hell out of my kitchen, rearranged everything, put up my new air fryer. Fart smell like lavender now after getting COVID, said Yoda. I refuse to trust microwaves or air fryer. Oh my God, Taylor, you're missing out on the air fryer. What's up, Miss Amy? Tell her, Mike, they make the best hot wings. Yeah, and I also... Um, do you do you have Mr. T's email? He said he don't know how. He's desperate to come up here and show his scar and his proof. He said he don't know how to unblock on Twitter. Just email me, Mike, he he's said. He's a pain in the ass. That's what he is. I don't remember what his email was. I have it. You do have it. Hold on. How do you say that name? Efe? I, I do don't have it? no idea. What, what'd you retract, Linnea? 
Yes, Misty. I love it. I, it makes I like to make rich chicken. That shit is the bomb in the air fryer. Hey, Mark must trust me. Why do you say that? Because he's clicking a link. I'm sending him in his email. <laughs> oh, you people don't know. That'll get you for, for yeah. Well, you wouldn't. Oh, but you're the big bad hacker. He better watch out. <laughs> like he says. <laughs> I know. He's trolling laugh. Hey, Ben. Tell us, I got to try food from one because I'm also skeptical about how it cooks food. Does it mess with the taste? No, Taylor. In fact, it makes great French fries. It makes if you if you like to cut up a fresh potato like I grew up on my grandmama fry me French fries. What's up, pug lug, honey? Um, and it's what's the name of those? Uh, Body health is the name of the amino acids that she's giving me. Um, but, uh, like my grandma always would make in the Crisco, she would always make the home fries, cut them down and make them. Um, and that's extremely fattening and very high in cholesterol. But if you have an air fryer, you can, you can get, it's so close to that same kind of potato you can get. And it's, it's makes the potato take all that grease out. So you steak fries. Yeah, your steak fries are healthy. Your hot wings are healthy. Yeah, because I am. Um, you know, I like to air fryer because I got a big air fryer. I can put two hamburger patties and French fries in there and cook them all at one time. Yeah, this one's huge. You could cook three pizzas, three small pizzas in there at once. Hey, did you know that? Did you know that in? left leftover pizza is supposed to be good <laughs> in the air fryer? It is. The air fryer brings back pizza to life, brings back fried chicken to life, brings back egg rolls to life. Brings back your health to life. It's a much healthier way of cooking. I guess Mark will be here in a minute, everybody. Just stand by. We're, we're waiting for Mark Terry to come up. Mark the you superstar know, Terry. The ink's not dry. Yeah, you know, that, um, <laughs> you know that... Uh, since we had the air fryer, we don't even really fry nothing in grease no more. No, that's that's why I'll, exactly. You, it literally so you put like you put a little olive oil in your potatoes, toss them in there. Now this one doesn't have the rotating basket. My other one did, and I liked it. So I'll have to. Put, this one has a slide in basket, and it has racking. It's the biggest one we've had. So I'll have to like use the shake. The link just sends me back here. Mark. You know. That link doesn't does, does not. Mark, did you? Mark doesn't learn how to be a whole damn troll in my side chat. Well, we'll I to see Mark's appendix scar. Well, I have an appendix scar, Jake, so I know what those look like. I didn't see that. That's low on the belly. Now the link doesn't work, said Carney, rolling eye emoji. Oh, I give him the wrong link. Oh, he's telling the truth. Look. All right, Mark, we apologize. Uh, because I had another troll in the DMs and wanting to know where everybody, uh, Icky was in our room, in the private rooms, like, where's everybody at? Where's Icky at? Shit. In the room where's, trying to MJ figure out where everybody's at. Minute, but then he's like, oh, you know what? There's a, t MJ and Carney, well, Carney's here, but tonight's, uh, I talked to Big Dog on, um, Twitter and tonight's the last night for football, so who gives a I'm damn? I'm sure a lot of them are over there watching the the foosball. Watch a damn football. Yep, he finally told the truth, Yoda. He finally told the truth. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome to the chat. What's up, Mark Terry? How y'all doing? What's How's going, it going on, Mark? Did Truthless Terry, what's that? Okay, there was there a question. Go. There was a question about um, before you show Mark. There was a question in the side chat about um, the lady in the bathtub. Who was that? Was that was that Samantha or Trisha? Whoever it is, I'm looking at the chat now. Before Mark shows us his scar, re ask the question. So, Mark, my question is to you: Is like there would have been police reports there would have been documentation that all of this kind of uh 
mayhem had happened in your life. Maybe right. it was why, in the back why can't alley. I find anything? The back Let alley. me tell you something. I'm going to go to the courthouse myself, okay. and I'm going to provide the receipts to you. And That's I'm fixing to show you the scar where the guy okay. cut my guts out. 100%. Okay. And I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. I'll put it on my grandkids' life. Oh, How about wow. that? Okay. All right. So, Mark, so, so, so can, can I ask you a question real quick? Sure. So when you say they cut your guts out, what do you mean by that? Do you mean like they cut you so deep that it exposed your guts or like they removed your guts? No, my guts fell out. When they cut okay. me, my guts fell out and I caught them in my hand. Okay. 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 And I'm going to show you the scar right now if you'll let me okay, show Okay, I'm it. looking. All right, we're and ready. This ain't no appendix. It's not no gallbladder. I had my gallbladder removed too. It just leaves three little baby scars. Right. And this scar is old. Now here it is. Y'all okay. see it? I see a scar there. Yeah. Oh, that is a long scar. Oh, you yeah. can okay, Mark. Okay. If you that look at doesn't, that, doesn't really look like a surgeon scar. It's wide. No, that's right. a cut. That's a, that's a that's a blade cut there. That's a I can tell you by you how that. You might be telling the truth, Mark. I am. Hey, telling listen. The truth. You around here, it's receipts or it didn't happen, right? Who right. cares? And somebody to say they survived having their gut cut out and somebody was dead in the bathtub and all yeah. of these things. Oh, those what? are things that would have some kind of documentation. That's all I'm saying. Uh -oh. Right. The guy got life in prison. Before he cut me, he had already killed his wife and dismembered her body. This guy was a psychopath. He'll never get out of jail. Ever. Why would you say his name, Mark? I, can't, I swear to God, I cannot remember the guy's name. That's I, crazy. I just, the reason why is it was such a <laughs> it was such a pro it was such a stressful event to me that I tried to push it away in the back of my mind and all this. Uh, but I had to go see psychiatrists about it. Um, what's the step up? Psychologist, all this shit over it. I've got post traumatic stress disorder from that. And listen, I'm fixing to jump off and watch the ball game. I don't okay, care if anybody Mark. believes me or not. I'm going to find those fucking receipts. Yeah, and I'm going to show them, them that it did happen. Make us eat it, Mark. Shove it in our fucking face. Prove us wrong. So that mean, do that. Does that mean uh, the Mark truth. the Truth Terry is making a comeback? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, and you know what? There. You're right about Rich Life. You can say something good about anybody. When he's not doing his shenanigans, he is funny. I mean, right. you got it. Yeah, he funny. can be very funny. Somebody yeah, else I know funny. like that, too. Yeah, yeah, I know somebody uh, else like that. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I got to stop the shenanigans. I get it. You won't. <laughs> but listen, Mark, I will tell you something. You're right. You figured out the formula. You know, acting a fool and showing drama and playing <laughs> drama is what people want. We, we Listen, it's what they want. So yeah. keep on doing you. I mean, I don't really like the lion and I'm going to, whenever I feel like you're lying, I will call it out. But I will say that I definitely agree that when you act like a regular person, nobody hangs out. So if you're about numbers and you're about money and you're about views, you're going to have to give people drama. There you go. That's well, what they I, want, honey. You guys are having a great stream. I'm going to let y'all get back to it. I'm fixing to watch the ball game today. All right, Mark. Take it easy. Go take... get them papers. Go get them receipts, Mark Terry. I'm going to have to. Next time I go up that way, I'm going to get them from the courthouse. They got to have a record of it. Oh, yeah. Dick, they got the, balls, Dick the ball said you probably had a C-section. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to y'all later. Bye, Mark. Have Thanks for letting one. me use your clips, Mark said Dateline. You've been a good sport. Yeah, that's what's up, Icky. I was beginning to wonder. What's up, Danny D, honey? Honey Bunch. What's up, everybody coming in? Pippa. Hey, what's up, Sugar Britches? Welcome to the chat. Well, listen, here's one thing. Mark definitely did have a weird looking scar that wasn't a surgeon scar. I'll I'll give you that. That looked ganked up. It kind of went in a couple of different directions. Something might have happened to him, whether it was what he's saying or not, we don't know. But I guess we'll wait for those receipts. Hey, babe, will you get Lily to be quiet, please? She in the background all the time. Well, she got something to say. When she passes away somewhere in the universe, she's still going to be out there fucking barking. Y'all hear her? And if you yell at her, that don't work. You have to go shh.
She listens to shh only. All right, <coughs> so what do you guys think in the side chat? Y'all think Mark Terry got his guts cut out? Yeah. Oh, my God. Please come make the dog be quiet. So, look, make the dog be quiet. Is he supposed to make the dog be he quiet? He went in there and started playing Call of Duty, so he said okay, but what really is happening is I have to wait till he dies. Oh, which, I'm on it. Oh, he's on it now. <laughs> he was, see, I was right. He probably just let himself die. I have a little, come here, Lily, get in my lap. I have a little three pound Yorkie poo. And all she does is bark and act aggressive. You know, it's, a, a, it's, always them, it it's always them little damn ankle biters that cause you the most problems. You know that? Yes. She's always talking shit, Lily. You're always talking shit, Lil. I think they're pissed off because they're so small. You know what I'm saying? You know. Well, the thing is, is I had a red-nosed pit bull, and she took that dog on, and we almost had to put her to sleep because, not to sleep, but like in the ground because, well, she took on a, 75 pound pit bull but right you just look like ike turner got a hold to tina for a few days and we iced her and we got her better but icky, she said, to icky said get rid of the ankle biter no she's she's been around too long now like 11 years in the family so then if there's news articles yeah but that's a lot for no news articles to be floating out there right a kidnapping, a former murder, a dead wife hacked up in the tub. Let me add that. I'll wait for the article. But Mark says he's going to go get the proof. So we'll see. I, I, I see a scar, but that could have been from some kind of uh, impalement. He could have fell and had some kind of impalement. And that's why it's a ganky scar. And he has this little story instead of what really happened. No, that scar is farther in the back where he was impaled. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Cindy Lopez? Well, hello, Cindy Lopez. What's up, Toodles, honey? How's it going? So what do you got planned for the rest of the day? Well, after we get done streaming, I'm going to finish. I have laundry going. I'm going to finish for my laundry. We're going to order some food. I'm going to take a shower. Me and uh, Tom are going to start to have a few drinks. And then uh -oh. I'm going to try to stay up for the Are asylum. you going to be on any panels anywhere? Uh, no, that's not the plan. Well, I'll tell well, you my own. Is it ever the plan? plan? Well, I don't mean to. I haven't. Okay, so um, when I went up on Marks and acted stupid with Lisa, like I had had a few drinks, so I, that, I think that's what fucked me up. When I went up there, I was okay with going up there because me and her started going at it in the side chat. I think I shot at her first in the side chat. And um, so you're saying you started it? I think I did. Oh, okay. but but I wouldn't have gotten. I don't think I would have gotten an uh, uh, emotional, or, or or at least if I was about to get emotional, I would have identified that and instantly been like, "I'm not fucking with you. Fuck off!" And I would have left. I'll go. I think I, I had, Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You can go ahead. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. I thought you was done. I was going to say, I think because I had had a few drinks, that's why I I wasn't, I didn't play it like the smart sober terror would have probably played it. Doesn't mean the emotion of it wasn't real. What was you going to say, Mike? Poon says, up, that, Poon says that evil Chella asked him for nudes daily. Look at Poon lie, lying on Ray Chella in a side chat. Yes, I know y'all are all watching football. So what do you think? What do you think, Mike? You think Rich Life's going to cry about... What's up, Hazel, honey? You think uh, he's going to cry about us talking about him being a predator and a perv? And actually, Rich Life, I wouldn't... People would say you shouldn't say that about someone without a receipt. Like, you shouldn't use, like, the chomo definition for someone without a receipt. But I think if I can look at your TikTok and see that you're over there drooling over 15 and 16 year olds in their bathing suit, that that kind of is the receipt to entitle you a chomo label. What do you think, Mike? Hey, scary. Well, me. and um, these platforms like TikTok and YouTube, and when you're searching on them, it they learn what you search. That's how the algorithm knows 
what to send you and your suggested um you know videos to watch and if you on tiktok he that's what comes up in his is his suggested videos are those young girls so that that means that he has searched them out enough on youtube that the algorithm is us what sent they, he don't even have to search them no more the algorithm is yeah. sending them to him see that's yeah, what like these my, predators like do my TikTok that's, shows me about narcissism depression and a lot of animal videos right i read a There's whole a article on how these uh people like that use these social media sites because of the algorithms if they're on there long enough they don't even have to search them out anymore it'll the algorithm sends it to them you know what i'm saying right right i'm just saying i think that i have the receipt that he's following all these minors and drooling over them and doing um what's called i forget what it's called but it's the split thing it's kind of like the reaction to the video on tiktok and he's doing it to 15 and 16 year olds. I, I think that that's a receipt enough for me to call you a chomo. You're a fucking weirdo and you're a chomo and you're a predator. And I wouldn't leave my child with you, much less fall asleep around you. And that's my opinion on you. So Jake says his algorithm gives him rugby, rugby judge, Judy, and Steve Wilco. I guess Steve Wilco too. <laughs> like um yeah. like on when I come on here and I go to my home up there and it shows me all the, the videos for the day which is mostly from people that I'm subscribed to since this channel subscribed to over a thousand channels. Um Damn, do it up, Mike. <laughs> but I, mostly it's all car content, like car stuff cuz that's what I watch mostly. Yeah, I get a lot of cooking stuff on YouTube, Shauna. <coughs> hey, Hazel, props to you for finally standing up to Lisa this week. I know that's the first time you stood up. Listen, let me say something about Hazel real quick. I, people, she's got haters, whatever. She's done whatever. You don't like her for whatever. You don't whatever. I'm not getting in anybody's thing. But what I will say is that Lisa has attacked that girl multiple times since Lisa was with <coughs> Hazel. And Hazel has never retaliated. So props to you for finally having your voice. Don't let people bully you around here. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Oh, Redneck and Jamie are going to the dispensary. Hey, Redneck, you're you're Jeff with two Fs on Twitter, right? I do have the same person together, yes, right? Yes, yes, that's him. Okay, so I'm right. Well, tell Jamie, I said, hey, horny, simple reason, poon, receipts, or it didn't happen is why. What are they talking about? I don't know. But I, I don't know. Jake and, uh, Jake and Poon are always arguing about something. I half time don't pay attention. Oh, are they enemies? I didn't know that. I don't oh, know. Oh, Poon likes Abe. Okay, wait, that's right. Poon likes Abe, so, yeah. TikTok has the best algorithm too. That's why I don't go on. LOL, never get on. You'll never. Yeah, it's the endless scroll. TikTok. That listen, the uh, the people that invented TikTok were geniuses because they sent you in. It never ends. It never ends. Well, you can tell when you first join it. It does kind of start over. Oh, not me. I've never seen the same video twice. Well, it's because you just, you're scrolling. You've I also am you. not on TikTok a whole lot. You're Maybe doing about it up, twice a doing week. it up. You've been doing it up. I'm on there about twice a week, I promise you. My daughter sends me as TikToks, and then I'll go on TikTok, and I'll have 14 inboxes from her. Most of the time, the only time I go on TikTok is if I get a link to something there. I don't have Facebook either, Bummo, and I'll tell you why. Because I realized when Mike and I started doing this a long time ago, I realized that I had to make a choice. If I was going to be here and call people out, having a Facebook is a dangerous thing because that is still a public, like that's still a public platform. So if someone goes and seeks me out and seeks my family out through my Facebook, they're still using a public platform to look me up. And then now they have my family. So I just killed my Facebook. I, I killed all my social medias that were attached to my real name or my family when Mike and I started to 
do the streams. Okay, so Poon said, why wouldn't I tell you, Jake, the ABO? What's that mean? I have a case number and the whole nine yards, but I won't tell you anything. I find it funny. What are they talking about? I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. Oh, they're talking about that other stuff. I don't even care to talk about no more. Right. Okay. Uh, do you feel me? Linking underage things are similar. Liking underage things are similar. Sorry. I'm trying to look at. Are we allowed on panel, Mike? So, Mike, uh, if you want to allow. Do I'm, you not, allow I'm, not, I'm not talking about uh, all that stuff that he's talking about. Him and. Yeah, okay. I'm not, we don't want to talk about the, the, the Chamo stuff. Right? I don't, we talked about that. We were done with it. I'm not bringing it back up. If they want to yeah, go I fight agree. each other on their panels, that's fine, but I'm not having that yeah, uh, shit show. About that, if you want to come up and fight about something else, sure, but not that shit, right? And it seems like that's the topic between them, right? They want to take the side chat and they want to bring it on the panel. I agree with you, Obama, but people have everybody has a different perspective, so I just took mine down. Oh, and also, uh, Ray posted up speaking of Abe. So Abe challenged me when I went over on his stream and he said, and I was calling him out for posting that just real quick. He said he didn't cause he wasn't Jonah. And did I have the receipt on that? Well, in case anybody wants the receipt on that, just go on and subscribe to Ray's channel and look at an upload. He put up this week where Abe admitted that the Jonah account is his. Right. So exactly. again, I told the truth once again, while I was called a liar. So, yes, Abe did post that shit on his fucking Jonah account. So, if you're outraged at one, you got to be outraged at all. That's all I'm saying. Keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel me? All right, Mike. Well, we're about 15 minutes, 20 minutes into me calling today, unless somebody wants to come up, wants the link. Has a problem or an issue with anything I said? Abe lied. I know. Shocking. Amazing. Icky, Icky says that he always pays cash, so they don't have no receipts. There is. They no still receipts. give you a receipt at the cash check. Not on the black market. They don't have receipts. They don't have no. a right. But in the back alley. Exactly, Daria. Yeah. See, Brock don't let Why Icky associate. To racially abuse me. What are you talking about, Jake? I have no idea what are they talking about. <laughs> no either. Jake's Jake's a big boy. Him and Poon can handle it. What, so Scarecrow is has some problems, I guess. So I take uh, it that uh, um, isn't a word used in the United States. Educate me, Poon. What does it mean? And am I am I enunciating it correctly? I have no idea what what that means last time i brought receipts i was a bad guy what are you talking about icky <laughs> <laughs> Ab oh okay so it's a rate so it's a race so poon are you trying to slide under the radar and use racial slurs in another language so D so daria says poon saying is racist not here okay so he is trying to Oh, wow, Facey, thank you. Well, come on, Poon. That's their N-word, okay. All right, well, I didn't understand that, Jake and Poon. I'm going to ask you to please. Uh, wow, Jake, all right. Well, I'm going to ask you, Poon, to please respect my side chat and not try to slide under the radar and, and be racially uh, inclined. And first of all, all Americans ain't skank hoes, just 80% of them, Jake. Get your statistics right. I don't understand why you so got to use guess, a um... racial attack. I feel like, I feel like, let me say something, and I, I'm going to say this to you, Poon. I actually think you, Poon, are very respectful to women the most time, and I feel like you're not a dumb person. But what's up, Carl the Cup? Which, but poon, I feel like... which poon was you watching? Which poon was you watching? Well, what I'll say is I feel like if you have to stoop down to using racial, racial slander to attack someone, like you're showing ignorance 
and you lose the fight. I mean, in my opinion, you're not outwitting someone by using racial slander against another person as the insult. That, that, that's saying that someone of a different ethnicity of you uh, is beneath you and you're superior to them. And that's not true. In every fucking culture, there's good people, bad people. There's uh, wonderful people and people who fucking suck in every culture. So, so, so to use a, a derogatory statement against a culture as if it they're beneath you, well, you lose the fight for me. Look, it, it's gross. Don't don't fall into their little trolling game. They're both trolling. Oh, yeah, they're, they're both they're, they're both trolling. Okay, and uh, from what I see, the word that. Um, Poon has been putting in there. I thought he was me meaning Abe when I first seen it, but anyway, That's what I thought at first. Yeah, I guess it's the same as I using the N word because uh, it's a slang on the Aboriginal people in Australia, and uh, that's what I, Jake, and uh, Jake's, Jake's not on. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying I don't know that. I had to go do research. Yeah, but see, the person that's over in that country knew that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not white knighting for Jake. I'm not trying to attack Poon. I'm just saying you're trying to use racial derogatory statements. They do the it Rainbow. all the time. They, it's the same thing as the N-word. You know, Poon and Abe, they like that word, you know. Well, I don't like race racial shit, so that's just me. I don't like it. Is Poon Australian? He sounds Southern. He is Southern. He's from Texas. And I don't got no problem with Poon. I'm just saying, don't come in my side chat trying to be racial sliding under the radar. I don't like that. I, like, I don't like that kind of shit. When the, okay, when the K-I-E-D-K-H-J-229-28 <laughs> to everyone else out there, whatever the fuck that is, having sent. Okay, honey. I don't know. I mean, you know, Mike, that's one thing we've all, that's one thing all, like all of us have always been funny about. So I don't know why it's become such a comfortable term on the YouTube, but my thoughts are that a lot of you are comfortable with it in your real life. So that's why you don't, you know, have a problem when people come here and say it. Okay, wait a minute. Donna Atwood said, please let Cindy Lopez on panel. She has info about Holly Undead's health. Holly is in ICU and might be dying. C Cindy hasn't mentioned that in the chat all night. Do you want to link to the stream, Cindy? No, well, and I prefer not to be talking about some rumors going around YouTube about somebody dying. Oh, Lord, here we go with that. Uh, yeah, and it's... Uh, you gone. Well, there you go. Who is Donna at? Oh, never mind. Never mind. That one took me a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you, Dateline. Dateline coming through with it. Let's see. It's like Irish twins. It sounds innocent enough, but it's having two kids in the same calendar year, but used as a slur implying the Irish are drunks and only good, only good at screwing. Well, I'm half, I'm Irish Italian and I'm pretty good at screwing. <laughs> Till I throw my all back out. What's up, Rachella? What did she say? This is my last live I will catch while you're live. I can't be kind and rewind. What the hell are you talking about, Rachella? Oh, because we don't have the pullback. No, you yeah, can't the, pull back. No, that, yeah, Rich Life and Love. this is your last live? What are you leaving YouTube, Rachella? You know why, don't you? They don't, why, why the pullbacks not on there because that's how they do to get your time stamp so they can strike yep. you yep we're trying to play it smart rachella wait rich life roach is he uh raging on me somewhere all right samantha well let's if it's true then prayers to holly and we hope she'll be okay pancreatitis is what my mom has and uh, it can be very very painful so yeah um, I'm always late and confused. Oh no, don't A Rod, don't delete your channel. If Holly was in the hospital, Norm F would be blowing me up, telling me about it. I don't believe it. Well, you know, we'll see. 
Holly was in ICU and kept having to leave the hospital as she had no one to watch the dogs. Oh, okay. All right, Carl, just like blah, 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 blah. All right, Rachel, what's the, what do you mean this is your last live watching me live stream? You leaving YouTube? She's Rachel? trolling. She's trolling. Uh huh. We're well, gonna start I'm calling ask, her. I'm here to ask the question. You know, she's evil, Chella. She's snitch, Chella. She's, she's rat, Chella. Right. She's troll, Chella. So you know, she's all of them wrapped into one. All right. So Bama has receipts, and I believe Bama, and I believe she says she's got receipts. So Holly, get be get better, get well soon, honey. I hope you'll be all right. Listen, you just gotta let dim, dimples is a rod. You just gotta let them go. That's the troll. They can be okay. A rod, you okay, honey? We love you. Ain't nobody gonna kick you from around here. Yeah, Rosebud's off with her with her man friend Icky. She's too good for us on Sundays. She got things to do like get meat sticks and stuff. JJ said Ray Ray done quit and come back. So y'all got to put, start putting rewind on the live. People come in and they can't catch up. Well, they can watch the stream when it's over. There you go. <laughs> when you said Holly was trying to scam 50 bucks from you last uh... night. Oh, Carl, the cut coming through calling you out. How could she have done that, Bergs, if she was in the hospital? That's a good uh, question. Bergs. So, Bergs, are you being caught in a lie? Oh, just like you said, you don't dox children. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, Mike, what you got going on this week? Anything anything new and spectacular happening in your world this week? Uh, I'm going to go to work tomorrow. That's about all the excitement I'm going to get. You got to go watch the asylum. Yeah, I'll try to. I won't stay. I won't be able to stay up through the whole thing. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, have mercy. Jake, Jake just went live, and I know it's going to be about you, Mike. <laughs> He's fine. Go ahead. Do it up, Jake. Do it up. <laughs> Jake, I really do think that Jake hates us Americans sometimes, but he'll be well, okay. He'll be and all right. He will be. He'll be all right. Him and Poon have this thing. They've been doing it. Now Poon, he can go live, and then Poon can go over there, and they can get on panel and fuss all the rest of the night. That'd be fine. All right, so I can confirm Holly is in the hospital. There's a receipt that's been sent to me. I'd have to dock sort of show it, and I won't, but everybody well, pray for Holly. Hope I hope she gets, she gets better. Get to feeling better soon. Yeah, get to feeling better, Holly. Holly texted me last week. Oh, okay, my bad, Bergs. I translated it wrong. <laughs> well, look, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Bergs. She needed $50. You didn't help her out, and now she's sick. It's all your fault. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Jake's all mad. Listen, it was only a matter of time before Jake got mad at us anyway. Well, I mean, it's not. My, I, I'm not responsible for what other people say. He's in here arguing with somebody. I'm not responsible for their fight. No, I agree. So tomorrow, so they found a knot in my neck. Oh, Crybaby uh, Poon is over there calling me an Ebo. Now, oh, an Ebo in Australia is the racial word. Basically, the N word for Aborigines. For him to be calling me an Abo, he's basically calling me a nigger <laughs> because I'm part Maori. See, that, that's what the whole deal is about. So. Yeah, but it, he is doing that, though. I well, mean, I, I'm not trying to defend did you know him, that, but I'm saying... Did you know that he was doing that? No, I didn't know it until tonight. I didn't even know what it meant until right. a few minutes ago. I didn't either. So, I mean, <laughs> as soon as uh, you so found question, out. I get what you're saying. So to question us to say, why are, we, why are we allowing somebody to be racial? We didn't understand that's what was happening. But the moment we did realize that's what's happening, I shut it down. And, and Jake's now mad and over there streaming. But And Poon hasn't said it since then. And since Poon's you told been him quiet to... since I asked him not right. to do it anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. 
And then well, once I realized that's what's happening, I, I called it out. But I didn't know what the fuck that meant. So now am I supposed to go around and learn all the detro- derogatory terms for all the countries no, in the world? No, you're not. So when no, I'm you're just... supposed to... No, Mike, what you're supposed to do is be responsible when you're educated and know something. But, but when you're ignorant to a situation, then you can't be responsible for what's going on with it. Okay, well, Shonda Britt knew, and Shonda Britt knows these things, but he didn't have a wrench to do anything about it. So now I give Sean the wrench. So his sole responsibility oh, is to... I like it. I trust Sean with the wrench, yeah. and I think now you're, now you're responsible for all... <laughs> Exactly. So now anybody <laughs> has a um, complaint about racial stuff in the chat, go see Sean the Brit. Exactly. We just put you to work. You got promoted, Sean. <laughs> just got a promotion, honey. <laughs> Samantha's in charge of going and getting clips. Dateline's in charge of making videos and running the side chat. Right. <laughs> now you're in charge of uh, translation. <laughs> Jake will be okay. <clears throat> He'll be fine. Poon will be okay. Jake will be okay. Everybody he had to have. Okay. He had to have something to stream about. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before he got mad at one of us. I thought it'd be me first. Congratulations. <laughs> so they. So my week is like this. Um, they found a knot in my neck, tested my thyroid, and the blood work came back okay. So I got to go in the morning to get an ultrasound on my neck. And they found a little spot in my mammogram. So on Wednesday, I got to go back and get a re-mammogram. But I gave cool. up caffeine since then, so I think I'll be fine. So can I tell you um, what's so going to happen got, when you I get got done? Doctor's appointments. I got doctor's appointments all week. So you're going to tell you what's going to happen and what you need to do? Yeah, let's have it. So you're going to go have these ultrasounds, and they're going to tell you there's nothing wrong with your neck because uh, doctors can only tell you if something's broke or out of place. So, <laughs> But they don't tell they don't deal with alignment. So once you, they tell you no, nothing's wrong with there you. there is a knot there. I feel then, it when I swallow well, and you can feel yeah, it with well, the finger. Maybe that's the meanness in you. And um, listen, maybe that's all the shit I talk on YouTube piling up like a mud puddle on the left side of my throat. Oh, Lord, and it's going to splat out all over the screen one day, isn't it? <laughs> the Lord said, I told you about gossiping in the King James Bible. Don't do it. And you over there talking all your shit. Uh, but listen, all my other tests came back really good. So this is these are the last two things I have to do. And once they come back, they're, they're good. Then I'm going to be good to go. I got you, Diane. So Diane says, Terror and Stitches. Um, I tried to tell G Mangos about Holly because they were friends, and Rachella said I was lying and got them to block me. Now, Ray and everyone knows Holly really is sick. Okay. She really is sick. I just saw the proof. All right. She's in the hospital. I just saw the papers. And let me tell you something. My mom is, thank you, Betty. Exactly. And I think positive and nothing's, everything's good. And I believe we can lay our own destiny out. What we think is what we become. Um, but as, as far as Holly, my mom has pancreatitis so bad that they had to put stents in and even the stents don't work. My mom has spent more time in the hospital than she spent out of the hospital in the last two years. And now they're about to do a whipple. They're about to do a whipple surgery on her. And if you want to know about that, you can Google whipple. But they're going to take out half her intestines, okay, and retack everything. And it's a year and a half recovery that my mom's surgery is about to be because her pancreas crashed on her. Holly's a drink. Holly's a drinker, and I'm not judging Holly because I like to have a drink. But like Lisa and Holly, when you drink constantly or like my mom who suffered from migraines so she took bc powders on the regular and pain pills all the time to feel better your pancreas is at some point going to give up on you and i know that holly likes to drink and i'm thinking that okay so cutie pie said oh my god that's horrible my father passed away a couple of years ago from pancreatic cancer so you watch the suffering. Oh, Carney, you having pizza tonight too? So I'm just saying it's a very painful thing. My mom has been in a lot of pain. Uh, it's been rough on her. So 
if that's what Holly's going through, I feel bad for her. I hope she's able to quit drinking. So Shonda Bridge says you're going to get more aches putting your boobs in that machine to take the pick. They literally squeeze. Uh, all right, so I'm a, I'm like a double D, okay? So they have to use the big machine. They squeeze it till it becomes a pancake. Oh, but, Lord, have mercy. But I feel like it's better for bigger women than for smaller women because at least I can lay my big old titty up in there and they can press down. Imagine people that ain't got no tit. They got to pinch it, pinch it, and pull it, trying to get it in there to press down. So, so in other words, you have an easier time doing that than Lisa. Is that what you're saying? Yes, okay. yes, me, yes. Which I don't even think Lisa goes and does that. She don't take care of herself. Oh, I Lisa wonder. Hey, you had a man so if you was to send me or Lisa, so if you send your ultrasound pictures of your boobs around, does that count as a nude? It looks like so weird because they press and press and press till it becomes flat, and then the nipple expands and gets long. So you so have like a four inch that? nipple. But I would say that if you sent that around, that would be considered sharing your nudes. Okay. I didn't know. I would think so. What's Dave 25 saying? Don't be being racist in my chat, Dave. What'd you say? I'll be doing the world of justice. Oh, dimples, calm down. Call the cut Berg. She would have an easy time in one of those machines. <laughs> Cause Berg got some big old titties. Big titty bergs. So listen, one thing I learned going through this, uh, when I went and got my mammogram the last time, uh, I was talking to the girl that was giving me the test and she was like, she was telling me what I just told you. She was like, listen, cause she didn't have nothing going on. And she was like, you're it's better off for you than it is for me because what I just said. Right. And then she proceeded to tell me that she has to do men sometimes. Okay. So I learned something. No. I learned that <laughs> I learned that men that smoke a lot of uh, marijuana are subject to getting the same kind of uh, painful cyst that, like, I get from having too much caffeine, right? And so, when men have like too much marijuana, it's like a woman having too much caffeine, and it can create these cysts. And she said that men are the biggest fucking babies. Where's when they these cysts at? Do what? Where's these cysts at? Like right around your nip, your areola. Like you'll have like little knots. It'll protrude. Does that mean I should be giving myself a breast ex a breast exam every Absolutely. once in a while? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. So smoking a large amount of marijuana can give men these cysts. And so they're very, apparently these cysts, well, first of all, these cysts hurt me. So when men get them, they're obviously very painful and they come in and they cry. She said, y'all cry like bitches. If y'all had to have uh, titties or a fucking uh, uterus that gave birth or bled for fucking seven days, once a month until you hit menopause and menopause is even worse. That's how I know we're superior our weakness is our emotions. So y'all hold that over our heads using your little terminologies like calm down. What are you talking about? <laughs> but at the end of the day, we're superior in physicality and we're superior in uh, smartness. I'm thinking God has some female genetics. No man wants to have tits. I agree, Icky. Most men couldn't handle a period. Well, I had endometriosis that led me to a whole a whole lot of trouble. And I, I don't know any man that would probably survive that without crying like a bitch. Just saying. All right, Mike. So you're working this week. I'm doing doctor's appointments and errands and the baby this week. And I think that's about it. I think we've covered about everything we were going to talk we've about. Covered it all. We said it all. We done it all. It's all. Over. This is the end. My sis is and confused. And no, it's no, Monchichi, it's not a mammoth o gram. What, what do you say? <laughs> mammoth o gram. Mammoth. <laughs> that's funny, Monchichi. 
Them double yeah, D's are a man. Man, man, twenty five around here doing the most. Yeah, day twenty five. Uh, he he's had a wild hair up his butt here the last couple. Yeah, of weeks. he's been showing out. I'm gonna have to start calling you a clown if you don't calm down, Dave. Calm down, honey. I know you've been here a long time, and there's better ways to get attention for people to come watch you. This is how you cancel yourself, even though even before you got anything to cancel. I know, cutie pie. I liked it. It was funny. So, well, what uh, do you think, guys? The chat, the 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 chat, starting to stop moving. Hmm. I'm gonna stop smoking. It's oh, Icky. Do you smoke cigarettes? I thought you said smoking I hope, marijuana. I hope it's oh 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 yeah yeah. I'm gonna stop smoking. It's added expense to own a bra. <laughs> Store your weed in your bra, Icky. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Bless their hearts indeed, Mike. And listen, when me and Lisa was going at it, that's the first thing she fucking said to me. You country bunking motherfucker. Well, let me tell you people something about country bunkings. At least I got respect. At least I got manners. At least I say please and thank you and yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. At least I take care of my elders. At least I have a moral compass. So if my twang and living in the South makes me some kind of hillbilly bumpkin and then I'm all up, then I'm fine with it because I do a lot of things people over there in the North don't do. Like run my own channel. <laughs> well, just think about it, Icky. If you have go get a boob change, you won't need a um, bra because they'll stand up all the time then. Yeah, they'll be nice and firm, honey. Right. So you can get an augmentation. Yeah. You do it up. I mean, Icky said they're transgender, so... So when yeah, did... Steve Billings and Dave 25 start having an issue. Well, Dave 25 was going over on Steve's asylum and coming up with like the N word and like being racial and fucking around on the panel. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know if there's anything beyond that. Steve could tell you, but I know he was doing that. And I don't know why people are so comfortable with using that fucking word now. What word? The N word. Oh well, they've been doing it. Up. They've been doing it up all the time. Yeah, well, that shit would get you canceled back about five years ago around here. Now that's what gets you going. That's what makes you the star. Wait, now. when Lisa said it the first time, Abe had like his first token on her, and everybody shamed her, and it was like, oh my god. And Lisa said, blah blah blah. And when Barbie said it, same kind of thing. Oh my god. Abe said, who else said it? Everybody said, Abe just about. said it, Barbie said it, Lisa said it, Jake, Jake said it, Poon said it, Jake said it, Poon said it, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, not just Jay Leno said it. So just about Lisa all drinks her body weight in a Keystone day and sucks at life. We in the North don't claim her. <laughs> I'll blame you, Facey. Oh, Dave 25 says slander. <laughs> or slander comes in. I mean, Dave, I don't know. I saw you on Steve's My Own Self. Your fiance's a minor, Dave 25. I don't think Steve would be hitting on her. At least I would hope not. Because I was sent all the stuff on your fiance. I know she recently ran away from home and stuff. She's like a kid, dude. Steve, tell me you ain't been hitting on a kid and that he's the one that's now committing slander. Stumpy said nobody hitting on that. Shh, Lily, Steve, have you been cruel to animals? I hope not. <laughs> She's 22. Oh, well, maybe what I got sent was incorrect then, Dave. I apologize if I'm wrong. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know why Dave's showing out to get attention. There's a, there's better ways to get people to come look at you. Did Nick the Nazi not teach you guys nothing? So Steve said he has never hit on Gabby. And that's what I was sent was it's an old article. Okay, Dave. So the article's true, but the article's old. I've been listening and couldn't say hello till now. What's up, Bridget, honey? Yeah, What's up, pretty lady? He would be right because the article's from 2017. Okay, there you go. So she's grown now. Okay, then. My bad. I thought Steve Billings had a girlfriend. Steve told Lisa he's been talking to somebody. So he's been doing it up. Yeah, I think so too, Sean the Briton. He's going about it the wrong way. I mean, I would think even Mark Terry could teach you guys that when you go around lying and doing all of that kind of stuff. Sean the Brit called Quinn the N word yesterday at Mark's. No, he did not. Receipts for that shit didn't happen. <laughs> uh... Ooh, have mercy, troll. He's been talking to his palm. I don't know, Dave, but you need to calm down, honey. Sl Steve is slinging the staunchion around YouTube. Steve got his meat stick out, pointing it around. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Y'all ain't right. All right, Mike, what do you think? I'm waiting on you. Do we drop the link and go another hour or do we wrap it up and say goodbye until next week? You want me to come in here and bring some views? I oh, like Lord, the ladder. Yeah, me too. What are you going to do, Tom Selleck? Looking ladder, what? <laughs> the looking ladder. Are we going to Firehouse Subs? No, we're going to order pizza. I like Firehouse Subs. I don't have one. I like I... the hook and ladder. I like their hook and ladder. Well, I but I have to drive thirty miles to get to a firehouse sub. See, that's how I am about that's how I am about Jersey Mike's. I like Jersey Mike's a lot. Jersey Mike's all right. We have one called American Hero. You ever heard of them? No, I haven't. But I don't. I fuck a Subway. I don't like deli, cheap ass deli meat. If I'm gonna make sandwiches at home, I'm gonna go to Publix and buy Boar's Head. I, yeah, real cheese. Oh, oh, yeah, you eat a lot of Subway. If I'm going to eat Subway, it's going to have to be like the... We have, a, know, we have a little a little small family-owned restaurant, but that's all they make is sandwiches and subs. But they use yeah. all that, that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Firehouse Subs is very good, but no matter which firehouse you go to, they're slow as fuck. I think Jimmy John's is good. Their bread's a little hard, like Publix. Publix, I have to, if I go to Publix, I have to get the wraps. Like, I love the turkey jerk, but I have to get the wrap because their bread's all hard. I've never had Firehouse. We don't have one here. They're good, man. They're really good. All right, well... The, the views are going down and the chat's starting to move. I think that's a signal to call it a wrap, Mike. See you later. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Have a good week. I'll see y'all around. Keep showing out so we can keep showing up. So we can keep showing up. Woo! Bye, y'all. Bye from the country bunkins.